Welcome to another video and I've got a guitar to show you today and it is the Blade Durango Deluxe DD3. So I'll go over some sort of spec of the guitar and then I'll tell you a few things that I've kind of thought about it. So body wise you have a two piece Akume top which is a carved top as well so I'll try and use this pretty bad lighting to show you that kind of gets it. The sort of bell like carved top you have and it's a single piece Akume body and on the neck it's actually mahogany so you can sort of see there how visually similar Akume and mahogany are to one another there's almost sort of no distinction between the two which is pretty cool and the fingerboard is pal ferro but it isn't the sort of bottom of the biscuit tin dry crummy pal ferro that I've seen a lot on guitars lately it, they have selected a nice dark tightly grained piece there which is kind of just luck of the draw I guess and I'll just show you the headstock as well. Um, scale length, it is sort of Gibson scale length or 24 and three quarter inch scale length, I probably should say. And it's 22 frets. And the neck is sort of like, it's like mid 60s kind of C profile neck. So think like mid 60s strat neck, but on, you know, like I said, a sort of more Gibson style scale length and radius. So really comfortable. And on the back, you have these sort of contours as well. This belly contour and heel contour just there. So it makes it really comfortable to play. Uh, electronics wise, as you can see, it's two humbuckers. There aren't any uh, coil splitting or anything like that going on. You just have single volume and tone and then a three-way switch. So obviously your neck, both and bridge. And speaking of bridge, show you how that's kind of seated in there as well. That is a Wilkinson wraparound bridge. And then you have your adjustable sort of intonation going on there as well. And I'm trying to show you sort of, this guitar is a gold top and it is that it is a very nice looking gold as well. But depending on what light you've got, it can look very silver because of the sparkle in it. Or if it's quite dark, it actually looks green. So <laughs> it's quite an interesting top, but that's the nature of kind of a gold sparkle top, I suppose. But it's really, really cool. And so a few things I, I sort of instantly noticed about the guitar was one is how nicely fit and finished the guitar is if I can I'm not sure how well that'll come up but the frets are like really nicely polished super smooth on the fret ends and just everything is really nice and sort of tight looking so you know it's you know it's been put together really nicely and it's the whole thing is just super resonant as well it's a really really nice guitar to be fair and when I plugged it in, the second thing that struck me straight away was, generally speaking, I prefer a lower output pickup, even on a humbucker. I just, I'm just more comfortable with that, I suppose. But these pickups are very hot. They sort of, they constantly just want to go. They're not harsh and bitey, but, but they're very hot. So in the next part of this video, you're going to see me plugging it in, playing about with some sounds, volume and tone, just sort of noodling away on it really. And, seeing what sort of sounds we can get. Hopefully it gives you a good idea of how the guitar sounds. But that's the overall spec and sort of how nicely fit and finished it is. And this guitar at Nyland Music is 799. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I will catch you again on the next one. 